Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, pag-aaralan natin ang laws of radicals and the principal roots. Like a hell cut. The enter of a number. Let A and B be real numbers. If A raised to 2 is equal to B, then A is the square root of B. If A raised to 3 is equal to B, then A is the cube root of B. And if a raised to n is equal to b, then a is the nth root of b. For example, find the square root of 25. So what is the square root of 25? Sabihin na lang natin ng ang sagot ng square root of 25 is a. And then yun yung a, kapag in-square mo, ang sagot ay 25. Sa ano yung number na kapag in-square mo, ang sagot ay 25? That is 5. Kasi 5 square, and that is equal to 5 times 5, and 5 times 5 is 25. So the square root of 25 is 5. Ganun lang ang square root. Another example, what is the cube root? of 27. Okay, so ano yung number na kapag ni-raise mo sa 3, ang sagot ay 27. So that is a times a times a. Okay, so that is 3. So you can say 3 times 3 times 3 that is equal to 27. So, the cube root of 27 is 3. For each real number a, so the nth root of a raised to n is equal to a. Ano yung mga odds? So 3, 5, 7, and so on. And the nth root of a raised to n is equal to the absolute value of a if n is an even integer. Ano yung mga even? So, that is 2, 4, 6, and so on. So, let's have an example. So for example, we have cube root of x raised to 3. So, what is x cube root of x raised to 3? So, dahil cube root yan, makakancel lang yan. Yung radical and the cube. So, magitira na lang is x. So, n is 3. And 3 is an odd. Next, what is the fourth root of 6 raised to 4? So, makakancel na lang yung mga symbol. So, matitira na lang is 6. At dahil even yon, so absolute value ng 6, and that is 6. Another example, what is the fifth root of 6 raised to 5? So ma again, makakansin na lang yon, so matitira na lang is 6. At dahil odd yan, so ganyan na lang, wala ng absolute value. Next example. What is the 6th root of 7 raised to 6 or negative 7 raised to 6? So, makakansa na lang yan. So, matitira is negative 7. At dahil even yon yung n, so absolute value ng negative 7, that is 7. The nth root of a, b is equal to the nth root of a times the nth root of b. Okay, let's have an example for this para mas maintindihan nyo. For example, cube root of x raised to 3 times y raised to 2. So, pwede natin siyang paghiwalayan. So, cube root ng x times si cube root ng y or x raised to 3 Tapos y raised to 2 yan. Okay, so ano, ano yung value nyan? Ano yung sagot dyan? So, dahil 3 yan, parang 3, so cancel So, yun ay x na lang. And then yun, yun di, di natin masasolve yun. So, that is cube root of y raised to 2. So, mananatili siyang ganyan. Another example. Square root of 18. So, what is the square root of 18? So, ang 18 ay hindi perfect square. So, anong gagawin natin? So, mag-isip tayo ng dalawang number 
na pag pinag-multiply mo, ang sagot ay 18. And yung isang number is da ay dapat perfect square. So, ano nga ba yung mga perfect square natin? So, 1, 4, 9, 16, 25. Yung first 5. Ano yung factors ng 18 dan? So, that's, we have 9. So, 9. Then, ano yung multiply natin sa 9 para maging 18? 2. Okay, so we have square root of 9 times 2. Or pwede natin yung paghiwalayin. So square root of 9 times square root of 2. And the square root of 9 is 3. Kasi 3 times 3 is equal to 9. And that it times the square root of 2. Another example. Cube root ng x raised to 5. Okay, kapag ganyan, pwede natin siyang paghiwalayan. Cube root ng x. Ang x raised to 5 ay pwede natin isulat as x raised to 3 times x raised to 2. Bakit? Kasi 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. So, that is equal dyan. Then, pwede natin silang paghiwalayan. So, cube root of x raised to 3 times the cube root of x raised to 2. So, alam naman natin ang cube root ng x raised to 3 ay x. And cube root ng x raised to 2 ay ganyan na lang yan. The nth root of a over b is equal to the nth root of a over the nth root of b. So, for example, what is the square root of 1 half? Uh, so, dahil fraction yan, so it is equal to square root of 1 over the square root of 2. So, sa loss ng radicals, hindi pwede na may radicals, may radical sign sa denominator. So, anong gagawin natin? Tanggalin natin yung radical. Paano natin tatanggalin? So, multiply natin both numerator and denominator by square root of 2. Okay, so simplify natin. Square root of 1 times square root of 2, that is square root of 2. And square root of 2 times square root of 2, that is square root of 4. So 1 times 2, that is 2. 2 times 2, that is 4. Okay, so what is the square root of 2? So square root of 2 na lang yan, kasi hindi siya perfect square. And how about square root of 4? That is 2. So, square root of 1 half is equal to square root of 2 divided by 2 or over 2. Another example, let's have cube root of 2 third. So, that is equal to cube root of 2 over cube root of 3. Para sa lang hindi perfect cube. And then, make Radical ulit sa denominator. So, tatanggalin natin yan. So, anong multiply natin sa 3 para maging perfect cube? Yes. Multiply natin siya by cube root of 9. Bakit cube root of 9? Kasi 3 times 9, yan ay 27. And yung 27 ay perfect cube. Okay, so... Cube root of 2 times cube root of 9, that is cube root of 18. And cube root of 3 times cube root of 9, that is cube root of 27. So, cube root of 18, so cube root of 18 na lang yan. And cube root of 27, that is 3. Kasi 3 times 3 times 3, that is 27. Another example. So, let's have 1 over 2 plus square root of 2. Okay, kapag ganyan yung denominator, multiply natin both numerator and denominator by 2 minus square root of 2. 2 minus square root of 2. So, bakit 2 minus square root of 2? Kasi yung denominator niya is 2 plus square root of 2. 
So, kapag plus yan, mumultiply mo siya sa minus. Pero kapag minus yun, so pag 2 minus square root of 2, mumultiply mo sa 2, square, 2 plus square root of 2. So, kaya yung kabaliktaran niya. 1 times 2, that is 2. And 1 times negative square root of 2, that is negative square root of 2. Next sa baba, sa denominator, so gawin natin yung foil method. So, 2 times 2, that is 4. 2 times negative square root of 2, that is negative 2 square root of 2. Then, positive square root of 2 times positive 2, that is positive 2 square root of 2. Then, positive square root of 2 times negative square root of 2, that is negative square root of 4. Okay, sa pagit na natin. So, 2 minus square root of 2. So, negative 2 square root of 2 plus 2 square root of 2, that is 0. So, makakansin na lang yan. So, matitira na lang dito is 4 minus square root of 4. Okay, so, numerator is manilit, mananatiling 2 minus square root of 2. Then, 4 minus Square root of 4, that is 2. Okay, so simplify pa natin. So, we have 2 minus square root of 2 over 4 minus 2, that is 2. And 2 divided by 2, that is 1. And the negative square root of 2 divided by 2, so that is negative square root of 2 divided by 2. The m root of the nth root of a is equal to the m n root of a. So, kapag ganyan structure niya, pag mumultiply lang natin yung dalawang index. So, for example, the cube root of the square root of x. So, that is so 3 times 2, that is 6. So, the 6 root of x. So, ito ang video natin para sa araw na ito. At sana nag-enjoy kayo at may bago kayo natutunan. At huwag kakalimutang mag-like, mag-share, at mag-subscribe. At pindutin na rin ang notification bell para updated kayo sa mga bagong video.